Cold morning this morning. We actually were dealing with temperatures in the teens this morning. And if you woke up early like me, you woke up to a light blanket of snow across grassy surfaces and even your car this morning. So you might have had to dust that off. We hit 54 degrees at around 6 o'clock this morning. Since then, a cold front has moved through. And as you can see, our temperature right now outside Beaver Stadium, 41 degrees. Also on tonight's episode, John Neese is here with another edition of WeatherWise, looking at the cross section of a winter storm. And Rob Lydic joins us later for the extended forecast but for today mostly cloudy a chance of snow and 37 degrees as we head into the overnight hours tonight we will get down just below freezing to about 31 degrees some of that moisture that will produce some snowflakes in the northern tier on Friday and we'll see that in just a minute but tonight we're looking at that lake effect snow really start to ramp up those winds kick out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour 27 degrees will be your early morning temperature then around kickoff we'll head up to about 31 degrees and then Towards the second half of the game, about 34 degrees, so you will need a jacket, maybe a hat, and even gloves tomorrow if you're heading out to Beaver Stadium to cheer on the Nittany Lions. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Matt Urasavik. Looking live right now over the mountains of Johnstown, we do see those light blankets of snow there on some of the higher mountaintops. Most of the region just dealing with a mixed bag of precipitation, but the weekend looks dry but chilly. We'll get to that in just a second. Temperatures right around central Pennsylvania right now. 44 in Johnstown, melting some of that snow that we just saw on tops of those mountains. 41 here in State College. As we zoom out a little bit, we can see 48 down there in Philadelphia, that southerly wind bringing up those temperatures just a bit, but mainly hanging in the 40s for today around much of the state. The places up to our north did see some snow showers this morning, a mixed bag of precipitation right now up toward Bradford and down toward Pittsburgh and places like Johnstown seeing a few showers right now actually and those will move into State College as we head through the rest of today. This moisture associated with a clipper system that is right now moving across parts of New York, almost the entire state, seeing some sort of snowflakes or even some rain showers there in the southern parts of the state. That will continue to move on to the east as we head through the day. Let's time that out for you right now. We can see some rain showers moving through State College around 5.30 tonight, but behind it, those winds do shift out of the northwest, and behind it, we could be looking at some snowflakes up by Erie, even making it down here to central Pennsylvania as we head into the overnight hours. But then tomorrow, skies clear out, mostly sunny skies, but a chilly day is on tap for tomorrow. For today, though, 44 degrees will be your high temperature. Cloudy with some of those rain snow showers possible. Those southeast winds do shift out of the northwest as we head through tonight. It will get down to 24 degrees tonight. A few flurries are possible, partly cloudy skies. And then for tomorrow, we will see a high of only 35 degrees, so it will be quite chilly, but mostly sunny skies. Quick look here at your seven day forecast. We do see a high of 39 there for Sunday. Cloudy, partly cloudy skies there for Sunday. Then Monday and Tuesday features some rain in the forecast. Temperatures do come up a bit, but then behind it, another cold air mass looks like it's going to move in. Matt, I'm not happy. 30 degrees is a high in that seven day forecast. Yeah, 30. It looks like a very chilly air mass is going to oh, move in. I don't like that. Too cold for me. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky. And to learn more about how the freezing temperatures affect local farmers here in central Pennsylvania, I took a trip just south of State College to right here at Harner Farm. I got to talk to Chris Harner. Harner Farms grows a variety of fruits and vegetables, from sweet corn to apples, peaches, and even pumpkins. Chris mentioned that the later the first frost, the better yield he attains from his crops. So the frost, you know, anything that you plant, you know, this year will be affected by it, other than like cabbage and Brussels sprouts and kale and stuff like that. But uh, any of the tender vegetables, you know, they'll, they'll be done as soon as you get a frost. So when will Harner Farm typically see their first frost or freeze at the end of each year? My guess would be mid-October, you know. I mean, some years we, we haven't had a frost till almost the end of November. Frost isn't the only thing that occurs during the month of October in Pennsylvania. Back in 2011, State College was buried with six inches of snow just before Halloween. You know, all the leaves were still on the trees, and we, we probably got six inches of uh, snow that day. And uh, we were still picking apples at that time. And, uh, you know, we lost a fair amount just because of the way the snow pulled them off the trees and everything like that. 
The first frost that year was just seven days before snow had fallen, creating a rather quick transition from fall into winter. To get more information on what frost and freeze is and when we can expect it across the state, there's no better person to talk to than Kyle Imhoff, the Pennsylvania state climatologist. First one is what is, uh, what is a frost we define as the first date at which you hit 36 degrees Fahrenheit at night. And then our first freeze is when we actually go to the freezing marks of 32 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. The landscape across Pennsylvania causes the first frost or freeze of the season to occur at different times. Early September uh, in the north and west, and as you transition down in the south and east where it's much warmer, it actually is about early November when you first get to uh, that 36 degree mark. So the first freeze is actually about a week or two later, so mid-September for parts of the north and west, and as you go farther south and east, it's closer to mid-November. Freezing temperatures are the preamble to our first snow, which also occurs at different times across the state. So first snowfall uh, is usually around early November um, in parts of the north and west, so Erie, Bradford, those areas, and then it gets closer to mid-December, so just before Christmas uh, near Philly and parts of the south and east. With cooler air on our doorstep, farmers are preparing for the end of the growing season. The precursor to winter will soon be apparent, and our first snowfall may not be far behind. For Weather World, I'm Matt Urasavik.